Kay joins us now with that forecast and talking about that cold about to move in. Yeah, do you, I feel like it's gotten colder in here. Yeah, you know what I think past, it has. I feel like everyone's feeling that temperature drop. And if you're all snuggled up tight in your bed right now, when you lucky step out you. the door tomorrow morning, mm. I know, lucky you, but when you step <laughs> outside, make sure you've got the layers on because we haven't really needed them over the past few days. It's been chilly. It was still a little chilly this weekend. You needed the jacket, but not maybe the full winter coat with the hat and the scarf and the whole nine yards. You may want that tomorrow morning when you see what these wind chills are going to be like. Let's start off with a look at temperatures right now because they are dropping steadily. We're down to 43 in Philadelphia. At this time last night, it was like 55 degrees, so a huge drop already, but it's only going to get worse. Tonight is the transition night. The real cold, the coldest night of the season is actually tomorrow night with a clear sky and a little less wind than we have tonight. 38 degrees right now in Reading. It's 29 in Mount Pocono. It's 40 in Allentown, and you can see even colder just to the north and west where some of that cold has had a little more time to settle in this evening. It's 31 in Buffalo, 30 in Pittsburgh, and 34 right now in State College. Winds have picked up the pace. A few gusts to the 20, 25 mile an hour range. Right now, sustained winds out of the north, northwest at about 12 miles an hour in Philadelphia, 9 miles per hour in Reading, and that's making it feel 6 or 7 degrees colder already than the thermometer tells you. So as the front clears, skies will clear. The winds really pick up as we get into the day tomorrow. Winds could gust to 30 miles an hour at times throughout the day. Still a few scattered showers here and there, mainly across South Jersey. Most of this is moving out. Not a big deal. Your morning commute will be dry, but again, it's going to feel very, very cold. So here we go overnight. We'll see the rain move off the coast after midnight. Skies clear by 2 a.m. and you'll wake up tomorrow morning to a good deal of sunshine, maybe a stray flurry in the Poconos, but that's about it. And Saturday is a sunny and dry day as well, though still well below average. So overnight, gradual clearing, turning windy. 36 will be the overnight low. Tomorrow, winds could gust to 30 miles an hour. 43 degrees will be the daytime high, but take a look at these winds chills because when you wake up tomorrow morning, when you step outside 7, 8, 9 o'clock, it'll feel like the mid-20s. And even at the height of the afternoon, it's a full day of sunshine. The sun's shining brilliantly at 3 p.m. You step outside, it's going to feel like right around freezing. 34 degrees at best. If you have Friday night plans on the town, it'll feel like the 20s once the sun goes down again. So bundle up and temperatures drop quite a bit tomorrow night. The average low for Saturday morning is 41. We're going to start Saturday at 27 degrees, by far the coldest night of the season so far tomorrow night into Saturday morning. Then we take a look at next week because a secondary blast of cold air is moving in behind this next system. So what we have to look at, we've got a front that's moving through the city as we get into Monday night and Tuesday, a secondary low to the south. Now, a few of our models were trying to bring these together and actually have a pretty significant storm system develop. The latest trend now just has more of a front moving through, kind of like what we dealt with tonight. Tonight will be a little colder, so there may be some mixing here and there. However, it looks like the best chance now will be north and west. We still have to watch those two lows. If they come together next week, we could see a better chance for snow. But as of now, the trends are to keep the system a little weaker, which means a less chance to see any extensive wintry precipitation. But that timing would be Monday night into Tuesday. What we do know regardless if we get rain, snow, or a mix of the two, is that it's going to get even colder next week. So a little bit of a thaw Sunday. We're back to 54. Veterans Day Monday, 52. But then Tuesday, chance of rain or a mix mm. and a high of only 39. And Wednesday's high is only 36 degrees. That is like <laughs> January, like height of winter type cold. And we'll be feeling it in early See my November. face? I'm trying to be mm. strong. I'm being strong. Don's hoping there's a typo. Mm. Like a 93 yeah, like instead of a 39. Like I meant 63 instead of 36. Oh. Nice try. Yes. Now you're picking up you're what right. I'm putting down. That's what you know I, I meant. Saying? Yes. The, the